Welcome to the Ink Stitch Beginner Tutorial Series. In this part, we are going to install Ink Stitch on your computer. Although the installation process is quite similar on various operating systems, you might prefer watching the video corresponding to yours. You find the tutorials for Linux and Mac OS in the description below. This is the tutorial for Windows users. Let's start with the requirements. Inkstitch is an Inkscape plugin, which means you definitely need to have Inkscape installed. Any version is fine, but we recommend to have at least version 0.92.2 installed because it comes with new features that are essential to organize the stitching order of your design. You can download Inkscape for free on their website at inkscape.org. Inkstitch uses a web browser to create printout information sheets for both operator and customer. You might also enjoy this feature because it optionally displays a realistic preview of your design. To be able to use this feature, you will need a modern HTML5 capable browser, which you will most likely have already installed since you are watching this tutorial. All other dependencies are delivered by the Inkstitch plugin itself, which makes the installation fairly easy. To get the latest Inkstitch release for your operating system, visit inkstitch.org. Click on Download Inkstitch and save the archive with 132 in its file name. In Inkscape, go to Edit Preferences. System and check where your user extension folder is located. Decompress the Inkstitch archive directly into the extensions folder. And that's it! You already did all the steps necessary in order to install Inkstitch. Now let's check if Inkstitch is actually working. Restart Inkscape. You will find the extensions under Extensions Inkstitch. Draw a shape and convert it to a path. With the newly created path selected, run params. Beside of the params dialog, you will see a simulation which will update as you change the values. We hope you enjoyed the tutorial and have Inkstitch up and running. If you run into any trouble during the installation process, please report your problem back to us on GitHub. Link in the description below so we can help you to get started creating your embroidery designs.